and then uh, at the Supreme Court, now uh, issue no yadain. Um, it relates to Asin North MP, no. Okay. Um, in fact, a number of different applications are now here pending at the Supreme Court, okay. but the key one and I could be bringing it that's why Bakwe because I'm going to find junction in Tunisia, so I'm going to be in the Parliament. In the Parliament, in Kwaye Juma. But before our court, no, even we deal with that one, no. Okay, earlier, no. Um, remember, I'm filing injunction application, no. I'm going to say. On person almost seven with processes now. Eventually, they had to go for the substitute service on publishing or a graphic more. The lawyer says, I'm back out because even with that publication and your court processing, you know, nobody attached into that service was too defective. No, yeah. our court in really against a monomo file for a review of that decision. It's an idea, the kind of court, no, it delivered a review decision now. Okay, almost maintaining or more poor the ordinary bench decision. I can say. Uh, the court was right when it's concluded that even though say various means normal car say almost seven with documents, seven no, documents. The especially the publication the daily graphic no yes. all the components of the uh, court process no man for i'm publish what graphic in him no and the court said now that notwithstanding no, because almost i'm car say i'm on farm a year supreme court or almost i'm if i've been born if he almost i'm born if he or constituency one is you it said that it that met the requirements and he was aware of it okay. and then uh, uh, the court no a delay with mm -hmm. now embryo filing for review no mm -hmm. or sign filing for stay of proceedings or can say answer a court to be determined review no. review no. or holding on with the injunction proceedings no. okay and the, the court took the view that in order to save time no or be delay with review in the first mm -hmm. which would have meant that once or more delay with review no, yes the injunction or the stay of proceedings automatically becomes smooth of course it's a more fair case no first more fair review now court no hold the view that the ordinary bench mm -hmm. was right in his decision mm -hmm. in that you know the lawyers for the mp nankas are led by Chikata on their own or more withdraw application for stay of proceedings okay. no because they said it was smooth i am moved and that you know the okay say the court can some about delay with injunction injunction no. But when Mr. Chikata and when you're injunction, uh, the plaintiff in the high court case, you no, know, about Supreme Court, say Supreme Court in she, na member of parliament, person to say high court ruling, you no, know, it's the emphasis of taboo being thrown. So na emanin court parliament to be exactly. Okay. It's the only the only high court that we're dealing with. But as soon as Mr. Chikata says, or was some initial objection, na open say or raise it. Okay. And the Supreme Court case there be what they want to do is that they want the injunction to be moved. Then when he is responding, he can raise the initial objection. Mm -hmm. Then when the court is to deliver his I ruling, and not may incorporate or more response to the yes. initial objection. Yes. And see, depending on the fate of that, they will now, they can now proceed to deal with the whether the injunction mm -hmm. succeeds or not. Mm -hmm. And so that was the view that the court took. So the court heard the legal arguments first from Frank Davis or representative Michael Ankuma. Michael Ankuma. Now, I mean, the the, the summary of his argument was to effectively say that in July 2021. The Cape Coast High Court to the view that the, mm -hmm. the MP was not eligible to contest the election because at the time of filing his nomination forms, he held dual citizenship. Yes. Into a chair as it stands today, our original court workers are no, mm -hmm. there's nothing that sets that judgment aside yeah. or suspends it. Mm -hmm. And so every single day that the man goes to parliament, to parliament no? it means that he's violating mm -hmm. the constitution okay. because the constitution is quite clear okay. on that score. Okay. Into, uh, Attorney General of the Abadami also took a very similar position. Mm -hmm. Now, only Frank Davis, yeah, again. Uh, yeah, again, was our view on who, okay. and making a point that if the Supreme Court, as the highest court of the land, can sit by and allow such a constitutional violation to take place, on mm -hmm. is a far and okay. and he believes that this is an opportunity for the court to stamp its authority and deal with this particular issue because it's been pending for a long time, and we know that the court has made a determination, and nothing stops that judgment from being enforced. Okay. And so, making a point that I mean, yes, the Supreme Court does not ordinarily grant injunction because it's not a trial court. Mm -hmm. But it has the powers of all other courts, all other courts and so okay. in this particular instance, it should exercise that power and grant it. Yes. And see, okay. after what by Mr. Chikata, one or raise the objection and not personal reason. Okay. Now, his objection, you no, know, bordered on the point about the powers of the Supreme Court because because his argument was that because under Supreme Court rules, name provided for certain injunction application. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In his opinion, no, say we make a request that or say the DD can over back court or no other court and say this is what you want to do. So once the court grants you leave, okay, you can go ahead and apply, then you apply. But Godfrey Dami in his response, no, even before Mr. Chikatabebe, no, or indicated, he takes the view that once a constitutional matter, 
and the court is close to the powers to exercise the powers of any other court, yeah. the court can go ahead and issue that order. I said it's not necessarily the case that I was saying the bar, nobody make a request, okay. especially when the person believes that there's a serious violation that is taking place. It's the woman cause we're trying to and maybe say, oh, this is what you want to do. Mm -hmm. It's okay with the cobra. Mm -hmm. Then we end up period. The violation that he thinks is happening is mm. still taking place. Mm. But Mr. Tikata disagreed and said that the court has to ensure that the rules are complied with. And the rule 5 of the CI 16, you know, Supreme Court rules, not China, it only gives that in the situation where the rules does not provide an express remedy or procedure for any action, now, you have to come to the Supreme Court for directions yes. to be done. And see, or take your arguments, Wednesday, April 13th. Okay. For a ruling on now, this now on the on the substantive issue of the injunction, no, I don't know. Chatu se kata wa anye argument there. Say Omoman is seven minutes. Okay. And see, he, uh, he, his main concern was that he would have taken a view that and could say always initial objection. No? Okay. So that if the court rules on it, then he argues on the injunction. On the, on the injunction. But because the court nigga said no, they should move the injunction. Mm -hmm. Then come for you. And see, there's seven minutes. No, he virtually expanded it on. The preliminary objection. Preliminary I mean, the time now, so no. Okay, mm -hmm. I say, I mean, if that's what the judges are saying, the time now, so yeah, then I then, mean, then, uh, yeah, uh, yes. Yeah, on the injunction, no. Apart from the oral argument in court, no. Or can file or more written process. Uh, they are also available to the okay. court. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that's really interesting. Did you see on the train next week, Wednesday, and a court made the decision, Beba, on the injunction application. Sorry, An injunction application from the plaintiffs. Then they say. Emma Jatikwesen and Kaswa MPBO. How much there is a judgment against him? Until you say they have to stop him from. Also judgment. The year juma. The year juma. But the other thing is so they say, because I think after the High Court ruling, Cape Coast High Court ruling, no, we mostly say High Court a ruling said it happened in the Adamu second case, no. So High Court needed a ruling, but so 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 and so and so until as soon as he had been seen to me holding the horse as MPR, immediately. Parliament is informed, it's put on notice. Now, Speaker, I had a, a declared seat, no, vacant. They call on the Electoral Commission to then organize a by election. Now that there is no appeal or stay pending, no, why doesn't the Parliament take over? And so, it did two things. First, so back here, mm -hmm. some couple, a couple of months back, yes. this issue came up in Parliament. Okay. First time, now, our band Babin said it take him, no, or can say, as far as he's aware, they are pending processes. Yeah, okay. So you're also going to comment on uh, the issues about whether to declare the seat vacant okay. or not. So that's the first issue. Okay. The second time it came up, I know uh, yeah, Dr. Kinsley Nyako, yes. I think MP Kwanasu, so MP, yeah, Kwanasu yes. MP, or is he, or ne, attach, yeah, they raised the issue that there was a stranger in the house, I'm yes. going to point out MP, you know. Yes. That time, you know, first deputy speaker and then okay. And so about what, I also take it the view that, okay, they are going to discuss it at the leadership level. Mm -hmm. So those are the two instances. Okay. Interestingly, the okay. electoral commission lawyer, one Imano Adai. Okay. Oh no, no, oh, he's been representing the AC from the level of Cape, uh, from Cape Coast mm -hmm. all the way here, mm -hmm. Obas from Kotwen. In terms of arguments into the injunction, um, or agree with Chachikata on a legal point. Okay. Into one support, he say injunction MP. No? MP no? Or see, he takes the view that once there's a judgment against the MP and the mm -hmm. High Court, mm -hmm. he believes that they should be going to the High Court. To seek to enforce to that enforce judgment, the judgment. No, okay. against him. Okay. Because okay, time of judgment, there was even an injunction. Mm -hmm. Ah, on the bar parliament. Uh, yes. The on the January seventh, yes. the MPs yes. taking the view yes. that they will let him yes. be participate yes. anyways yes. and bear the consequences yes. anyways. And yes. see, or, or not taking the view that they should have gone through the gone enforcement to the high court. at that same level. Mm. But then as we heard from uh, Mr. Amale, the director of legal yes. affairs for the NDC, for the NDC. Said, he said that they had filed various process at, at the court of appeal okay um mm -hmm. relative to the decision that court of appeal no a strike it out mm -hmm. and i we know for a fact that they've also filed an application still at the supreme court uh, and it's almost six or message outside court of appeal decision uh, court of appeal decision, decision. Wow. then the criminal matter to also criminal go, is also soon. outstanding so and everything is not ending anytime soon yeah but uh, the closest thing we can get to a clarity it will be on on wednesday, on wednesday because yeah. you know that the court has Perhaps taking the view that they are pending okay. processes. Okay. If it is granted to them, I mean, and it's a Supreme Court granting injunction now, nah, meaning, sir, from that day, you no, know, uh, Judge Crescent cannot hold himself up as MP. As an MPS. That is, if I mean, 
very similar to the, but it's very similar to the injunction that was granted on yeah, yeah, January 7th. Yeah, I get you. But that, of course, the January 7th was from the High Court. This the is now from the yeah, Supreme Court. Supreme Court yeah. In the Imuye But the, that, that would then mean, sir, the Supreme Court granting injunction now, then what happens to Amaleba Semano Kasoma filing different processes or appeals? So those are, those processes are related to um, the challenge of the Court of Appeal decision. Because yeah. say, uh, under Representation of people on mm -hmm. election petition, never terminate to a court of appeal. Never terminate to a court of appeal. It's once a high That's court. For parliamentary elections. For parliamentary elections. elections. Yeah. Parliamentary elections. Yeah. Yes. And any of those processes, no, we go to challenge mm -hmm. an aspect of it in the Supreme Court. In yes. fact, Michael, I'm coming in front of lawyers. This one is a separate rate of issue of Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. And in addition to the separate rate, no, we seeking various declarations which will, in effect, render him not being an MP. No, yes. more asking for entry measures. Yes. And then, yes, I injunction will move some. And then, yeah, like, related. But a different approach. A different approach. Thing so it's a like a lot of yeah. different different yeah. things in the yeah. Court of Appeal, yeah. Supreme Court, yeah. uh, Ninia yeah. uh, has to do because, with because the, 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 the interesting thing is that uh, the Supreme Court granting injunction, they effectively, you know, they they give some overriding effect to the High Court decision, which is the court. which is what the Attorney General and Mr. Frank Davis are urging on the court pushing, pushing. because the moment they say. So far as there's a judgment that says mm -hmm. he was not eligible to contest the court, no, yes. and that judgment has not been set aside, mm -hmm. neither has it been suspended by any court. He doesn't think that there's any process that stops yeah. that judgment from being enforced. Yeah. In Tuachia, in every single day of parliament, be there is someone mm -hmm. who a court has said is not eligible to be in parliament, of course. who is performing parliamentary duties. Of course, it is this year, no? when the injunction is even granted next week, they can or still apply granted. or not granted. They can still apply for a review, yes, which yes. will further elongate the process. Now, yes. after uh, about appeals court, because appeals court, I don't know the effect of the appeals court decision so, if it should overturn it earlier. So, appeal court of appeal, no, mm -hmm. it didn't go into the merits, it was based on the fact that almost say among my some procedures be directives be directions be or some follow yeah which they the, the yeah. court to the view that yes. because non compliance that was striking mm -hmm. out and so it was not an issue of hearing the appeal, on its, the merit. appeal on its merit okay. so the lawyers took the view that they had two options either they can just real estate or come to the supreme court yes. mr malibar told us yesterday that they had initiated certain process at the court of appeal okay but what i have seen is a document that they have filed at the supreme court uh, to set aside appeals the court, court of appeal decision, you know? decision. Ah, or more question even the independence of one of the members of the panel mm. or court of appeal you know? wow the president of the panel you know? wow. almost question the independence how much uh, on the said day you know the way she conducted the activities mm -hmm. now even though on that day they even had another motion at that level you know, to even have a recuse herself near the almost mm. all those matters were not dealt with in a manner that they felt was uh, in line with due process mm. and so much as a court the supreme court and set aside that decision and order the court of appeal to realist realist appeal wow and and the substantive appeal no well because well, appeals court i'm going to the merit of the appeal substantive appeal no, yeah, then seeking to set aside the high court july 2021 judgment now nah, it declares uh, uh the man was not a little nah, oh, okay okay that is it, what they are substantive court high court decision no and on the setting aside yes it will, it will court of appeal. yes okay it could in fact no, nah, that's the 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 main tree yeah. for everything that is yeah. happening because every other yeah. process is in one way seeking to either stop that judgment mm -hmm. or seeking to have yeah. it enforced yeah into yeah. while sir or mono echo court of appeal to set aside high court ruling you know? and a plaintiffs in the high court then you know, so echo supreme court say supreme court then you should know my effect in fact the high court ruling. the question in Ankasa, yeah. where they can call supreme court because okay. at the court of appeal you know, or make an application, Mr. Nkomo, who do you normally refer 94 to know about interpretation? Interpretation of the court, Supreme Court. Yeah. And a court of appeal, they disagree. You know, the bar Supreme Court. And a Supreme Court agree with court of appeal decision. Before Frank Davis, Max signed it, almost almost separate application. They back and say, no, what is going on? You can't let it happen. Yeah. So it's it's like both sides using different means. But the interesting thing is that this injunction application, I'm filing on January 27. Wow. January 27. It took about a month into two months before moving to me S7. You know the process about yeah. service.